Hey, it's Tim here. And in today's video, I'm here to talk to you about Ask Data. Now, the feature I'm about to talk today, I'm actually quite impressed. I haven't used Ask Data in a while myself. I know I do these videos showing you all the features, but there's something different about Ask Data now. And I think it's it's actually quite interesting. Let me just show you how it works. If you're not aware, Ask Data is a new feature where you can essentially just type a question into Tableau and it gives you the answer. To show you that, I'm here on Tableau Online. I'm gonna to go to the Explore tab here, go to Samples, and there's of course a Sample Superstore data set that you can use. Now, what's required here is when you upload a data source, uh, Tableau will start analyzing it. And this is a fairly sanitized data set. Of course, this is Superstore. Tableau have done some good Good work to make this nice and optimized. But when you upload your own data set, you have to invest a little bit of time making this data set sort of work in this platform. So things like synonyms, meanings, um, data roles all have to be applied to our data. Check out my channel for features on uh, our data. I've covered pretty much everything since 2020.3. Uh, so um, Let's let's go ahead and check out how this works. So the first thing I'm going to do is just type in a question. I want to see the profit uh, by category. Okay, oh, I can't type, so I have to make sure that I use uh, the correct uh, category. Here we go, and it will come up with a suggestion. I'll click the suggestion so that it cleans up my typos, as it were. Uh, and now it'll open up a new window and it'll actually go ahead and load that, which is great. This is kind of what I wanted, but it's not quite the question I had. What I'd recommend you do with our states is you ask your question in stages because then you know it's actually getting the question correct each time. So the next thing we're going to do is actually uh, make sure that we see this by month. I want to see this as a time series, essentially. So uh, by month, let's just type that. And when we do that, it obviously breaks this down. Now, the thing I'd like to do is actually um, then choose a date range. OK, so I want to say uh, between uh, March 2015 and December 2019 okay so that's uh, my little window here i've done a typo here so let's go hit december there let's fix it march i'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt here and just hit enter knowing an organization you'd have typos and so here we have it we have this nice sort of timeline nice new feature here is you can actually tweak this uh, date range a little bit better so you can actually go in here just by clicking that and actually tweak it so let's say you got the year wrong and you wanted to go to 2019 hit accept and it changes the view this is really really cool and of course you can change this to uh, whatever chart type you want just go over here on the right hand side and hit uh, stacked bar and you can see that it comes up actually as a nice option you can actually type it in here so let's just remove that it goes back to the line chart and just type it ourselves as uh, stacked um, uh, stacked bar chart hit enter you can see that comes up there and of course uh, you basically typed and talked to tableau how cool is that so that's a great little addition there and of course you can change any of these parameters once you've built this and you can go back to any particular question and change the particular thing maybe you didn't want it by category maybe you wanted it by country instead hit accept boom you've just got a new chart right there and then of course this is all the united states so country made no sense we should have chosen state or something instead uh, hit accept and instead you get a very very noisy chart and of course it's not colored it correctly because because we've changed things in the, in the middle of the way we're asking questions but this just gives you a nice little glimpse of how this is working and how it's dynamic and how it really actually makes it easy to build a new visualization if you want to pivot this you can of course here you've got the option at the top just to change the orientation which is really nice you can then grab this embed this uh, somewhere else and let someone else ask their own question. So you can actually take this Ask Data experience on this data source and put it somewhere in your organization where people can actually type these questions and ask them themselves. Um, if you've invested a little bit of time into the metadata, that's going to be really, really good. So the actual feature here was this sort of relative date range slider. This is new. It makes it much easier to pick dates. But just check out how much this feature has come along um, in, in the time that Tableau has been building it. This is uh, supposedly one of the new areas of analytics where essentially you're just going to be talking to a computer and it will be doing this for you and there's actually you know i see i see a world where this is actually realistic where you simply type something into a text line and you get a response back with a table or bar chart or pretty much any of these chart types that tablet have already added so that's pretty much the feature in a nutshell if you've enjoyed this video you know what to do if you haven't hit the dislike button twice and i'll catch you in the next video